No evil can draw God to sin, and God draws someone to sin. It is the desire of the human heart that draws and ensnares man into sin. Then when desire is fulfilled, then sin is born. And when sin is fulfilled, then death is born. As humans, we are constantly faced with the temptation to sin. It is a pervasive issue that has plagued humanity since the beginning of time. The role of desire in sin. When we think of sin, we often think of it as an action. However, sin is much more than that. It is a state of being that is rooted in the heart. In James 1, 14, 15, it says, but each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. This verse highlights the role of desire in sin. It is not God who draws us to sin, but rather our own desires. When we desire something that is not in line with God's will, we are lured and enticed by it. The more we dwell on it, the more we become ensnared by it. Eventually, the consequences of sin, the consequences of sin are far-reaching and devastating. Sin separates us from God and damages our relationships with others. It also brings about a host of negative consequences in our lives, such as shame, guilt, and regret. In Romans 6.23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. This verse reminds us that sin has a high cost. It leads to spiritual death and eternal separation from God. However, there is hope. Through faith in Jesus Christ, we can receive the free gift of eternal life and be reconciled to God. Overcoming sinful desires, while sin is a pervasive problem, it is not an insurmountable one. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can overcome sinful desires and live a life that is pleasing to God. In Galatians 5.16, it says, But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. This verse reminds us that we have a choice. We can either gratify the desires of the flesh or walk by the Spirit. Walking by the Spirit means surrendering our will to God and allowing Him to transform us from the inside out. It means choosing to live a life that is in line with God's will and resisting the temptation to sin. Sin is a pervasive issue that is rooted in the heart. It is our own desires that draw us to sin, not God. The consequences of sin are far-reaching and devastating, but through faith in Jesus Christ, we can receive the free gift of eternal life and be reconciled to God. By walking in the Spirit, we can overcome sinful desires and live a life that is pleasing to God.